My name is Julia uh, and I come from Italy. Um, I'm a bit of a European kid, so I've traveled around a lot and now I'm here in Madrid for uh, the summer program. For me, for example, mm -hmm. uh, something that we can talk about is uh, just before coming to the academy, what were you thinking, needing, considering? <laughs> So, yeah. that is fine, yeah? yeah. To, to laugh. <laughs> that's my, my go-to nervous thing. Uh, no, so before no. the academy... Yeah, before coming to the academy, mm -hmm. what were you thinking? What were you considering? It's like, okay, uh, about going to academy because I would like to... You know, mm -hmm. what was your motivation to come to the academy? What were you looking for? Yeah, so, so um, before coming to the academy, uh, I was in a full-time job which I enjoyed a lot, but it, uh, I, I, I knew that it wasn't necessarily what I wanted to do for my whole life. Um, so I decided to quit my job, which was difficult, um, but uh, I think it was a necessary step to, to feel free to take some time for myself and concentrate on things that I had not allowed myself to concentrate on before. Uh, so that's why I decided to spend a month here in Madrid to do a summer course in art because I've always been interested but I never really dedicated time to it. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. A bold, bold move, yeah. A bold <laughs> move, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And congratulations too for also giving, your, giving yourself no, the opportunity to experience something like that. Mm -hmm. It's a and just before starting the academy, what were your expectations about the academy? Um, so I usually operate in such a way that I um, plan very little. Uh, I, maybe it's because I don't know. I keep busy, but I, I plan very little, so I didn't have big expectations. My sort of baseline expectation was just that I would be in an environment where I would be. Um, sort of helped to explore the different skills that you can develop um, as a professional or non-professional, in my case, artist. Um, and I got the chance to do that because we worked on sculpture, drawing, painting. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so you, you came here no, with, little, with not many expectations, no? You, yeah, I, I did because I, I didn't really know what um, an art course would look like um, as I've never done one. Uh, so, so yeah, I, d I didn't really know what to expect and I actually thought that, uh, I, I remember emailing Sandra saying, is it a problem if, you know, I've got no experience, like I'm a complete amateur and she, she said like, if you're interested, then no, it's not a problem. Um, so yeah, I, d I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That sense, for example, in the in our selection process, mm -hmm. it's like we value more uh, eagerness and if someone really wants to learn and the learning abilities to, to technical expertise. No? Mm -hmm. We think that if you already have technical expertise, maybe you are no, you don't need so much this uh, this kind of training. No? Yeah. So, yeah, and. Well, after spending one month here, what has been your experience? What would you highlight from, from the experience? Uh, I have learned so much that I wouldn't know which thing to focus on in particular. Um, but definitely, I would say that uh, the highlight was to be in an environment where you're really listened to and followed. Um, so every day I felt like I got very personalized um, feedback. And that was really useful for me um, to, to grow my skills. Um, looking back at what I've done, I can really see the progress. Uh, and I can also see, um, you know, from, from one drawing to another, my integration of uh, some of the feedback that I received. So uh, I'm really happy about that. Mm, that's great. Um, do you think that, imagine that you have to recommend the experience to someone, mm -hmm. uh, who would you recommend it to and who wouldn't you recommend it to, <laughs> this kind of experience? I, th I think I would recommend it to anybody who has an interest in, yeah, in, in, in art. 
uh, because you just like, I, I think because it's so personalized the, the the experience it can be adapted to so many different uh, profiles so I'm sure that uh, you know like a professional artist that has been working in art for 20 years but wants a kind of different perspective or learn new techniques like they would find something here but also people who like me are amateurs um, they also uh, have the opportunity um, to learn. So I, I think anybody who has an interest in arts is definitely most welcome here. Yeah. Right. Do you think that, is there anything that I think I could have asked you and then haven't so far? Mm, oh God, I don't know. You asked me why I came, you asked me how it was, you asked me, did you ask me what I take out for, like what I take home? from it, maybe? Then we can talk about that, no? Yeah, I'm just thinking about what yeah. questions are good. What have you learned? What have been your highlights no, in terms I of have learning mm -hmm. experience? Yeah, maybe I can make an, a, a concrete example, for example. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, should I mention like all the different things that you... Maybe you can focus on the technical or specific stuff that you yeah. have gotten from the experience. So, uh, technical. So, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, we can talk in about your experience and learnings, no? And we, uh, for example, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, because I can ask you in terms of experience mm -hmm. and in terms of technical development and learnings. Yeah. Okay. okay. I think. Yeah. I think I would like to mention also the part that. Um, because, of course, you learn the technical part, but I would like to mention also that you're really followed as a person and so that you get some, like, you... you, you and you were with uh, friends as well, no? Yeah, also <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. Because I think for the summer course, that's probably an important... Especially aspect. the summer course. Yeah. For someone, it, it will be the experience of the school, but it's the experience of the school in a specific situation. Yeah. Because in the summer course, it's different from yeah. the... But in this month, in the summer, no, mm -hmm. has been you took the decision of spending one month of your summer here, you know, experiencing and learning. So, mm -hmm. could you tell us about your experience and your learnings? Uh, yes. So uh, I have to say it's quite special to come to Madrid for an art course. Uh, of course, because of the art school, but also because of the setting. Uh, so it has also been very fun to explore uh, this cultural city. Uh, and to meet people that are like-minded and interested um, in art. So I got the chance to meet um, some international people, some Spanish people, different uh, age groups, uh, and that was um, really also motivating because you obviously learn from the teachers, but you can also learn from uh, your classmates. Uh, so that was really great. <laughs> so that was the social part. And then the other one was the, the, learning, the, the learning, learning, technical learning. Um, Okay, so in the course we have uh, touched upon like sculpture, painting, drawing. For me, all of it was kind of new because I've never done more than drawing really. Uh, and so what I really enjoyed was landscape painting uh, and Manel, the professor, he was really great uh, at giving me feedback in order to get quite good results um, fast and to really understand the process. Uh, so I think when I will go back home, I will buy an easel and sit outside in the garden and do some landscape. People yeah. painting. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How about your experience with the sculpture? Uh, sculpture was uh, the maybe the biggest aha moment because I also have never touched uh, any clay, uh, and to give um, you know to 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 do something that usually you do two-dimensionally, so I don't know, draw a face, to do that uh, in three dimensions uh, and to really feel um, the figure come to life, that was yeah, a new, new experience that I think helps a lot also in the other aspects. So through sculpture, uh, you can get a better understanding of what you're drawing and through drawing, you can get a better understanding of what you're sculpting. So mm. they definitely go together. Now you have a clue about clay. Yes, <laughs> clue about clay. If you were to summarize your experience here in one sentence, what would you say? <laughs> you work in communication, so 
No? That was an accident, by the way. <laughs> Everything that happened in my life is kind of accidental. And it will keep being that right. way. Experiment or accident? Yeah. So. Um, in one sentence, experience, my experience. Uh, can I say keywords? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I would say like um, gr like it's a grounded. It was a grounding experience. Grounding. Yeah, it, I feel Not like grinding. no, <laughs> no gr grounding. Like I feel like it. Um, like I feel like I. If you imagine a feather, yeah. I feel <laughs> that's flowing in the air. This is such a weird metaphor. Okay, no, no, but it's yeah, it's beautiful. But like I, I don't know. I imagine like I, I feel that way sometimes. And I'm just like whoa, going everywhere, and it's like I felt like it was sort of falling into its place. No. So if I interpret it correctly, it's like, okay, about art, no? Mm -hmm. It's like, you can do many things, or think about many things, or feel like doing many things, no? But in this way it was like, okay, it was down to earth, um, yeah. with method and techniques, learn how to, no? Yeah, in in the in the art part of the course, but even just like with the conversation we uh, we've had, like it's just, like I, f I feel like my mind, it always goes into a thousand different directions, uh, which is really fun sometimes, <laughs> but other times it makes me like it, I, I get stuck because it's just I don't know where to focus on, uh, and so it felt very grounding in that sense that uh, uh, you know that I, I just feel a little bit more centered, like as a person. It doesn't even have to do so much with the. I mean, surely it helped too, but. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's in another dimension, no? It's yeah. Like it's besides, no? The, the, the art development mm. is like in, in personal terms. A per yeah, a personal yeah, thing. It's like Cause okay, you consider yeah. many options and you, you are, but in this case it was like help you just to, to focus, no? And, and yeah. Okay. Because that, that was really my intention. Like when I stopped working, my intention was to take time to focus on myself. And I know that I like art and that was one way of doing it, but it was not... Like my focus was not to uh, become an artist or something like that. So, so for me, like this experience has also like helped me a lot, like for my personal development. Yeah, but it's that part, was part of a process. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like an interesting journey, no? She. And you are you are in the middle of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. So yeah, and this was the summer. <laughs> Some the, of the, of the journey, no? Yeah. And you keep on journeying. I keep on journeying. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs>